Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. Welcome back to a quick video and I just down here and I just wanted to do kind of a spontaneous video and share with you folks uh, exactly what I'm up to tonight and um, I'll make this quick but I just want to share with you uh, I'm just down here uh, tinkering and playing around making accessories and and different things for this particular diorama so uh, this is a 118 scale piece. I really like this piece. Uh, I I put it on eBay a few times and I had a lot of watchers, but uh, I wasn't going to go much lower on the price I had already set. And and um, I mean, I like to sell things. I I don't want to just give things away. And that that kind of seems to be how eBay is starting to turn out for handcrafted items. So, but anyway, enough of that. So in Tinkercad, I created some piping and some connections for 118 scale. The nice part of Tinkercad is you can always go back and resize it. So you can you can resize for 1 12th, 1 6th, you know, 1 32nd, and so on and so forth. So this scale here is particularly um, intended for 118 scale. So let me just uh, run through it with you a little bit. So I made I made three different pieces, uh, actually four different pieces. So two of the same, but but different size connectors. You know they're hollowed out, and they can be used to connect uh, piping. So they fit perfectly. All they they dry fit perfectly. All all that would have to happen is be glued. I was tired of using straws, and I just wanted kind of a different option i guess for size and you know texture and it can be used you know in any kind of uh, 118 scale for piping you may be able to use it in 112 scale but it would have to be used for like maybe wire conduit or something like that so yeah so uh made a i guess a t attachment and this can also be used it takes two seconds it can be used as an end so what I would do is I would just cut this piece here and then I would just cut a tiny little piece off of the piping and then I would just plug it, sand it, and then you have a an L connection there. So yeah, it it can be uh, rather handy and I was very happy with how it turned out. It took me a couple times to get the dimensions right and get the, um, the fitting um, to where it dry fits perfectly and that's that's kind of what you have here i don't know if you guys can hear it but it does dry fit perfectly and that's how get back to the um accessory i'm in the middle of making it's just a street lamp and i use my piping for it so i just wanted to play around and see what i could create with it and I, this is going to go in this particular piece. Uh, I'm not quite sure where yet. Maybe here. Maybe in the in the road. Um, uh, you tell me what you guys think where it should go. I may even make another one. I'll have to see. But uh, I may stick with one. So all this. This is just a piece of. Uh, it's like a plug that came out of a UV resin uh, bottle. Sorry about shaking the table. I won't touch it again. And then I used my piping. And I was brainstorming, trying to figure out a few different things. So I didn't know how to really capture this particular piece. So my uh, my go-to store is a Dollar Tree. I picked up a bag of these uh, particular rings here. And I saw them and I was like, yep, that'll do perfectly. And so... Uh, this pops out. I cut I cut here, gave it a nice sand around, and that's what left me with this. So I was very happy with that. And then I was kind of just thinking about how can I get some lighting on here and and how can I get this lamp to be a um, a working lamp without running LED wiring and and LEDs. Um, diodes and stuff so I kind of brainstormed a little bit and 
I picked up on Amazon a package of these particular, I guess they're called balloon lights. They're, they're meant for weddings and paper lanterns and things like that. But as you know, we can use anything in dioramas. And we do have that creative mind where, where even junk we turn into uh, a beautiful artwork. So yeah, I picked these up. Not very expensive. And I threw a magnet in here. I don't know if hopefully you guys can see that. And these balloon lights are magnetized. Well, not magnetized, but they have some they have some metal in there. So how these work is you just pull the tab as such and it gives a nice bright light. And I just throw this in there like that. And there you go. We have a nice working light. Let me stop shaking the camera. Let me shut my light off here. And let's see what kind of light we get. So yeah, that's actually uh, lights up a lot better than I had thought. And it can be put anywhere. And when you're done, you just pop it out. And you put your tab back in and, and you're good to go. So I was pretty happy with that. And uh, it actually worked out really, really well. So it just gives you an idea of uh, just, you know, sitting back and maybe thinking outside the box. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one that uh, has ever done anything like this. I'm pretty positive of that, I'm sure. But uh, this is just something I taught myself. I didn't see any videos on it or anything like that. And, and I just wanted to... Uh, Kind of figure some things out on my own and it was a lot of fun making all these pieces over here on my printer the, it doesn't take long to print they fit great they're awesome for piping for lamp for building uh lamp posts and and so on and so forth so i'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, using these in my diorama and i'll post some pictures maybe i'll do a, uh, another video just to show you uh, this particular piece all uh, all painted up and and installed on this particular piece. But let me know where you folks think this should go. I, I mean, they're normally, what, on sidewalks, I believe? I don't know. It could go anywhere, I guess. About here, flat dab in the middle. No, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you uh, just what I'm up to tonight in um, uh, this particular uh, light post that I'm I'm pretty proud of and I really like so I hope you guys are well enjoy your night I hope you have a great week and um, please like please subscribe uh, please comment and I really appreciate comments I always try and respond and you guys enjoy your night okay thanks for tagging along for a little bit have a good one